Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my favorites and essentials for month three of my son's life. So I took notes of the items that he was really enjoying um, over the course of one he was uh, to the three uh, for the two the three month period, and I am now going to be sharing with them with you guys. I will be inserting somewhere in the screen the pictures or little clips of the actual items because most of them I don't have them with me right now. A lot of them are in his room right now and he's asleep so I don't want to wake him up to grab the items but I will be inserting pictures or clips and as always I will be linking the items down below uh, if you want to check those out. Those links are affiliate links which means that it just means that if you purchase the item from that link I will get a really tiny tiny commission off of it. You really don't have to use my links. I just like linking the items so this way it's easier for you guys to find them but you can definitely purchase them anywhere else. These are not in any way shape or form sponsored. They're really the items that I enjoyed for my son. First item that we really really enjoyed over the last month was mirrors. So he started being really into looking at himself in a mirror. He like finds it really really funny and it's especially nice when he's doing tummy time. He lasts a lot longer on tummy time when he has a mirror in front of him. So I have a uh, mirror that is unbreakable so there's no risk for him. Like it's a child proof mirror so there's no risk of him like smashing the mirror and then hurting himself or anything like that. I think it is from Manhattan Toys and on the other side of the mirror there are like black and white shapes and he really like the images and he really likes the images as well. So both features have been really nice but I'm sure you can get mirrors like at pretty much any store and you can also be playing with uh, your kid um, if you have like a full-on mirror on the wall or something like that and you're doing tummy time you can just put him facing the wall that would still totally work but that's the mirror that we've been using and liking and I would totally recommend uh, playing with mirrors with kids. Um, the next item that I have is his play gym. We've been using it pretty much since the first month, but we've only been really, really enjoying it over the last month. Um, and I love that there are images at the bottom of it, the, the play mat because he um, can stare at those when he's doing tummy time. There are a lot of things over the arch that he can play with and try to reach for. Um, as I mentioned in his update for last month, he is not starting to reach, grab, and like punch items over his head. So it's been really, really nice. The one that I personally have um, kind of evolves into a um, ball pit afterwards. So you have balls in the head of the turtle and then like the sides come up and you can like um, make it into a ball pit so it lasts a little bit longer on. Um, but any type of activity gym I think will do for your kid. But this is the one that I have and definitely I would recommend. I really, really like it. And as far as I'm concerned, this is not only a favorite, this is really an essential for your kiddo's development, I think it's really, really a must-have. Okay, in the last video that I filmed of my favorites and essentials, I talked about the pacifier that we were using then. It was an awesome pacifier. I still highly, highly recommend it. It was from Philips Advent, um, but it was a zero to two month pacifier. Now my son is a little bit older and the pacifier is a little bit small on his mouth. Um, he kind of almost loses it at the top of his lip. So we moved on into the zero to six month pacifier instead. Um, I would still get the zero to two month for the two first months of my for the two first month of a baby's life, just because like the zero to six month I feel is a little bit too big over a newborn's mouth. But right now we are going with the zero to six month and it's been perfect. Um, we had a set, we bought a set of two, and I even went back to get an extra two. We really like them. Um, when he's fussy, it's really nice to have. Um, Especially like when I'm with him, I don't need it as much. But when others are with, like if um, his grandparents are taking care of him for a few hours, they will use it a lot more. Like they need something to soothe him. When I'm with him, I can kind of soothe him uh, by myself. But when it's others, it's easier that way. Um, when my uh, um, when my boyfriend tries to put him to sleep, it's easier to use a pacifier. Um, Sometimes when he's fussy and he doesn't want to take the breast, I will use that pacifier then. And otherwise, it's when we're getting out of the house, that's when we use it most. 
but I would I still really really enjoyed them and it's just that we've moved on into the older version but I still recommend the 0 to 2 it's just that he's bigger so we're going with the 0 to 6 instead one item that isn't really a necessity but is nice to have and that we've used a ton over the last month is a breastfeeding pillow. Um, I never used it for breastfeeding, like I used it a little bit in the hospital but I never really enjoyed it for that and I think that maybe the one that I have isn't the best. Um, but the shape of the breastfeeding pillow I feel is perfect to help babies with tummy time. It helps to make tummy time a little bit less miserable and easier for them. The one that I, ha that I have is made of like little beads in it so you can like shape it a little bit however you'd like it to. I used it to like raise my child's stomach a little bit higher so that it was easier for him to do tummy time and to look up instead of just always looking downwards. Um, so for that two to three month period it was perfect. We don't use it as much, um, we haven't used it a lot in the last two weeks because he's really getting better at tummy time so he holds his head higher without the pillow but for when you're starting off with tummy time I think it's a good idea to use the breastfeeding pillow especially if you have one. If you don't have one I'm sure you can get blankets and just like roll them and tuck them underneath your kid but if you already have a pillow that you're using to breastfeed and it, or if you got one and you're not using it, I think that getting it out and using it for tummy time is a great way to use that pillow. The last item that I have on my list is an absolute must have and essential in my house and it is a carrier. I use that thing every single day religiously. It is part of our morning routine. Um, I would say that at least 50% of the time my son is, I'm eating breakfast with my son in the carrier. Um, that kind of suits him a little bit and after my breakfast I put him down for his nap. I use it every single day at least for that little chunk of time. Sometimes he will spend a few hours in it. If he's a little bit fussy he will spend a few hours out of his day in it. I love my carrier. Um, there are so many available on the market and I'm sure that there are other ones that are really really great and that might be less expensive than the one that I have. I feel that like, the one that I'm using is a little bit more on the expensive side but I love it and I would definitely definitely recommend and I would repurchase it in a heartbeat. Um, the one that I have is the Tula one. Um, I have the uh, newborn insert to go with it because you need an insert up until I think like somewhere you need an insert for a little while for your baby. Uh, my son is heavy enough that I can take the insert out, but he isn't um, well developed enough for that. Um, so I'm still keeping the insert. I know that they are coming out with a new version of their baby carrier that will go from newborn up. So it will be a little bit um, a better. It will be a little bit better because you won't have to add the insert in and all of that. But for right now, I'm using the one with the insert, and I'm totally loving it. It is really really comfortable. It is really intuitive and easy to put on. Um, I really really love it. It is really really dirty at this point I need to clean it up um, but I would say that the only downs there are only two little downsides to it they first off it's rather bulky so it's hard to put in your diaper bag and the other thing is that um, it you cannot put it in the um, dryer you can put it in the washer but not in the dryer so mine is really dirty and I cannot clean it right now because I am using it constantly and I don't want to be without it so I am not I'm just spot cleaning it it will be I will really need to get around to cleaning it um, but these are like the two downsides to this one but in terms of comfort for me and my son it is perfect um, we used it uh, during the holiday um, a few months back when, when he was a little bit old, younger we were still using it. The reason that it's really a favorite for month two to three is that since my boyfriend went back to work during that period um, I was left alone with my sons. I needed to develop a few tricks to be able to do things around the house and the carrier has really really been a lifesaver in that measure. I can get things done um, and my son is still on me and he's happy and he's not fussing. Um, when he's a little bit fussy I put him in the carrier, it soothes him and then I can put him to sleep afterwards. I love that thing. He 
often falls asleep. Well, he um, sometimes will fall asleep in it, and if he doesn't, it really just calms him. So I really, really would recommend a carrier. Um, the one thing that we didn't do and that I, I think I would recommend is uh, going out in stores to try them. I am lucky because the one that I got I really really like but, but I think that it can also be a bust and you might not enjoy it so I would recommend trying it out in the store first but I really really love mine. So this is it for this uh, favorites and essentials for month three. Um, from now on I won't be doing like specific um, favorites and essentials. I will be including them in my uh, baby updates just because I feel like I'm talking about the product a little bit in that video so I might as well uh, go in depth and talk about them then. If you prefer the way that I'm doing it right now please let me know and I'll go back to that way. But I'm thinking that if I mix those two things in together then I have one more spot during my month where I can talk about other baby things and I think that I prefer it that way. But so this is for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.